How's it going guys? It is 3.28 a.m. Tuesday, 22nd of November here in Japan, and we have a past level question for step one and step two. Okay, some important points I will whip through here, not waste our fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, and me HLMAN underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel are down below, and I'll start the clip. So 58-year-old woman, one week history of involuntary rhythmic jerking movements of her left arm and hand. She has a brisk biceps reflex on the left. Wubinski sign is present on the left. MRI of the head shows a one centimeter round ring enhancing lesion. She was diagnosed with HIV five years ago. She's on heart therapy and TMP SMX. Question wants to know most likely explanation for presentation. Let's just whip to the answer choices here. Choice A, cryptococcus neoformans, wrong fucking answer. Obviously, this is a fungus, obviously important cause of uh, meningitis and immunocompromised patients, not just AIDS. Can also be EG organ transplant recipients who are on immunosuppressant drugs. Uh, N for neoformans, narrow based budding. In contrast, B, blastomycosis, broad based budding. If we do CSF analysis, we're going to see uh, decreased glucose, increased protein, and increased lymphocytes sometimes because it's fungal, sometimes increased opening pressure, although the latter non specific. We're going to diagnose most accurately with latex agglutination. We can also do India ink prep, which is black background. Uh, then we've got the white polysaccharide capsule, the cryptococcus that doesn't stain. We can also do a red mucocarmine stain. We're going to treat this with amphotericin B plus flucytosine, followed by a long fluconazole taper. But amphotericin B is a singular drug in particular they want you to know. Pokes holes in the fungal cell membrane. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, cryptosporidium parvum, wrong answer. This, ca this causes a self-limiting watery diarrhea in immunocompetent patients, can cause more of a chronic watery diarrhea in immunocompromised patients. And in, in those who are immunocompetent, can be, uh, doesn't have to be treated, okay? Self-limiting, as I just fucking said. Patients who are immunocompromised can be given nitazoxanide. Now, a weird factoid you need to know about this is that this is an acid-fast positive cyst. Okay, and I say it's weird because when we hear acid fast staining, we think of TB, mycobacterium tuberculosis, but they want you to know this is acid fast. So blue background, the red cyst you're going to see. So say a patient has HIV, watery diarrhea, and they'll say there's acid fast uh, cysts, and you need to know it's simply crypto, cryptosporidium parum. Not difficult, okay? In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, malignancy. Correct answer. So this is primary CNS lymphoma. Now, you need to know that at CD4 counts under 50 in particular, uh, patients are at increased risk of primary CNS lymphoma. So the immune system normally plays a role in immunosurveillance, which can suppress tumorogenic activity, not just in the CSF, but just in any organ system. So patients who have uh, severely suppressed CD4 counts, yes, increased risk of Primary CNS lymphoma, very fucking important. Now, you say, well, what about the ring-enhancing lesion? I don't get it. Isn't that toxo? Okay, well, you have to learn that ring-enhancing lesion isn't always fucking toxo. Yes, it can be malignancy. It can also be abscess, all right? doesn't have to be irregular. So, and another point, this patient's on TMPSMX. This is brought in uh, initially at a CD4 count of 200 for PJP, pneumocystis prophylaxis. This is also the prophylaxis for Toxo. Toxo comes in at CD4 count of 100, but this is two birds with one stone. So this is the USMLE's way of saying it's definitely not Toxo. Okay, so that's some high yield points here, knowing that you can get primary CNS lymphoma in immunocompromised patients, and also knowing that TMPSMX is the prophylaxis and treatment for PJP. And it's the prophylaxis for Toxo. Treatment for Toxo is sulfadiazine and pyrimethamine, not TMPSMX. There's one 2CK question where they assess that. So I'll just quickly whip through here. Tinea solium, wrong fucking answer. This is pork tapeworm, a cestoid, okay? It causes cystocercosis, cyst in muscle, neurocystocercosis, cyst in the brain. Can appear colloquially as a Swiss cheese appearance within the brain. Patient went to Mexico, but I've seen questions where they show CT of the head and it looks like soap bubbles within the ventricles. Nothing to do with Swiss cheese, but I just mentioned the colloquialism with Swiss cheese appearance. You're going to treat this with albendazole or mebendazole, uh, which is a microtubule inhibitor. You know the deal. Make you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.